What's happening guys, it's Sabina from Phonebunch and this is the final variant of the Freedom 251, the dollar four or rupees 251 smartphone which you won't still be able to buy, at least not anytime soon. Now a lot has changed from the previous variant but the specs remain pretty much similar. You still have a four inch QHD IPS display, 1.3 GHz quad core processor, Android 5.1 Lollipop, a 3.2 megapixel rear camera and a 1450 mAh battery. But let's talk about build. On the left of the device you have the volume rocker. This phone does come in a black color which you see right here. At the top you have the audio jack, the micro USB data syncing and charging port. On the right of the device you have the power button. The buttons are quite okay, again at this price point I really can't complain about build quality. You can also see the Freedom 251 branding at the back and the back has sort of a nice textured feel which does make the phone easier to hold. Now removing the back cover you will see the Freedom 251 branded battery. It is a dual SIM phone and there is a separate micro SD card slot. Coming to the front, you have the 4 inch QHD IPS display, you have a front facing VGA camera, capacitive buttons which don't light up. And if you look at the software, the icons have been customized, the launcher at least has been a little bit. And if you move into settings too, let's just check. So you have Android 5.1 Lollipop running on the device. Well, didn't expect much there either. Now the company said the phone comes with 8 gigs of storage but I just can't see about 1 gig was available so either they got their specs wrong or this is just a phone with 4 gigs of storage. And well you had 1 gig of RAM out of which more than 800 megabytes were free so at least that is pretty good. Now this was what Ringing Bell showcased earlier at its launch event, the so-called prototype from Adcom with Indian flag at the back, Freedom 251 on it and see where we have come today. So there is a huge difference in design as well as software. Now let's get to the camera as well. I just wanted to show you the camera interface, how it works. You do have autofocus available which I really didn't expect. And if we talk about the different modes, well you can shift between various scene modes, you have white balance control as well, the normal stuff. And the front facing camera was barely usable. But then again, you have to factor in the price. The display too has poor viewing angles to say the least. Now there is some customization here, you can play around with themes and you can change wallpapers and all those stuff. And well, yes, you do have a separate app drawer available here as well. Now, if you want to open the app switcher, that can be accessed by long tapping on the home button. So yes, some things are a bit different here. The phone did freeze once or twice while using it. And this doesn't seem to be the final software at least because Ringing Bells had told that they had partnered with several app developers to preload apps on their smartphone. I really couldn't see those here. Anyways, the Freedom 251 is still a pipe dream. They have said that they are rolling out 5000 units based on a lucky draw system and they would wait for consumer feedback and only then they are going to proceed further after getting funds, quote unquote blessings from the government. Well selling phones at this price point is really impossible. All this seems like a marketing gimmick for the things that they have planned in the future just like the phones other than the Freedom 251 that were announced at the event and the TV. Anyways folks, that's it for this video. If you liked it, do hit that like button, share it with your friends and don't fall prey to such promises. Thanks for watching and as always have a great day.